But the thing is, being a teacher, we have a bad habit of keep on talking, talking, talking. But you know wives also. When I said wives, everybody did not say mine. Or <laughs> wife also does the same thing, but when she knows the husband is sleeping, she stops. <laughs> but I hope I do that. When you go to sleep, I will stop. Now, the topic today is very, to me, very important because I belong to a profession which is trained to do the wrong thing in the sense we were trained to treat ill health. But I am going to talk to you for a change about well health, how to remain in well health. That's why my topic is happy, healthy life. But I will start the whole process of reverse. When I say life, most of you may be wondering what is life. Is there any young Rotarian who can define what is life? Life is a four letter word. It's not the American F word. You know, YouTube over my day. <laughs> but it is the G. G E N E, not the G J E A. Also, I used to say, when you want to know somebody's sex, remove the G. Not the J E A N, but G E N E. You will know. The same way, the life depends upon your gene. This is a technical. The health also depends upon. 50% on your genetic background. But the remaining 50% is in your hand. That is, you are given a sensitive hand <coughs> again. What pushes your action? So I want to cover it up in 20 minutes. What all you should do not to pull that trigger? But most of you may think philosophy lamp now reaches beyond 70. So we think about life, what is life? Apart from being the thing, we call in our heritage, life is a prana or soul. Always life is the energy. The whole topic, if I say, E is equal to MC square, all of us know matter and energy. And we are, body is matter and soul is energy. So, but I am not going to talk about that uh, yoga or etc. But I am going to talk to you, what is the important message in life to be happy. The first sentence I said four letter word. I started with uh, F and then I went into the G. The most important one is life is a four letter word called love. Most of you may be seeing the TVs and your interpretation of love is different. But at this age, my interpretation of love is to give. The embodiment of love is mother. When we say mother, I always say, only love which is permanent on earth is mother's love to the child, not the reversal. It's very difficult now, child to mother's love is becoming a complex issue. But the second one is, I hope she will excuse me, we all know the next important love is, we say, Madha Pida Guru, Daivam. Nobody says, Pondar We are not added to that, but one of my friends was telling when we medical meeting, when I gave this topic, End up which one is not going to be able to do it. End up which one is going to be able to do it. But the thing is, it is not that I am trying to say this. The modern world is becoming more and more difficult and complex. Yesterday was my 47th wedding anniversary. And I hope my American doctor will say, we will cross, you mean myself and my wife will cross 50th anniversary. But the thing is, thank you. The thing is, are we happy? I would say happiness is a relative phenomenon. But the way I am trying to say this is, the topic is happiness. And mother is an embodiment of love and gives you all happiness. But I don't know, the woman whom you love, you know. We always say, parents, we cannot choose. Partners, we choose. But if nowadays there is a chance, many of you love and choose your partner, but still, you go through the papers, you go through the journals, every day there is a disaster. Husband killed wife, wife killed the husband. <laughs> I don't know why and how, because uh, this is a big problem now. I said the only love I will say, mother's love, but the woman whom you marry with all the love and affection, why this problem? There was somebody was telling, first we talk to the woman, then woman talk to us, afterwards his neighbors talk about it. <laughs> this is happening now in this world because this is one place where happiness is related. This is what I am trying to say. Fellow Rotarians, you can have a debate with our lady Rotarian. Why man and woman are trying to be unhappy? Srinivasan, I know he is very happy. <coughs> but 
Padati, I always say, except uh, that young Rotarian, we, when we were young, we go behind ladies. After marriage, we walk hand in hand. And when you are married, 40 years ago, my wife comes 50 feet behind me. I am not joking, not because she is not able to walk, but by the, the distance you can see how long you are married. <laughs> so this is the one place where the Rotarian must talk to each other. Especially in the Kalpana, I was in Kekev Muriat. If I am I do know most of you know who which family I belong to. Yanga family Anji I don't know why and how. But this is place there is a potential opportunity for Rotarians to think louder. What you say is because just think about it. Uh, if you say Pondati Podi, he thinks it is a way of life. But now when a lady says Poda, otherwise when a lady says he only goes out of the way of Anda, that's what most of the women say. My wife says, Yenna, you are not a good for nothing for long. She says, Poda na Poya. But to see, this may be jokes apart, why this change? And how many men? How many of you can accept when the lady says, Nivanaya Poya? Are we trained in India? No. This is where we have to focus now. This is a social problem. My second son married an American girl, and she says, Daddy, when she says, No, I will say, Go at last. But do we have that guts to accept this in life? I don't think, even including myself, I will be happy, but different thing is, how many of you have the guts to say when a lady says get us, I get away from that. Otherwise, this is one bottom line, one place where happiness is slowly being eroded in our society also. So Rotarians is a put for thought, think louder and see well, how can we can change it. I don't think you can change it, but accept it. Now coming to the my own problem is at health. Now, what is health? It is not the simply absence of this thing. It is a physical, mental, social and spiritual well-being. I am going to discuss mainly <coughs> about physical, if possible, mental, social, because we are all Rotarian. Socially we are very friendly, we are very healthy and that. Because no Rotarian loses his temper or balance. He is always friendly with everybody. Spiritual, I don't know how many of you are very in high spirit in your club. In your club, all of us will be in a very high spirit, will be very happy. So I am not going to talk about that spirituality. The spirituality is a thing we are going to ask a question. What is life? Why we are here? It's a very difficult question and most of you may be wondering. I was reading three books in last time, a voracious reader. One is by that Gurudev from Koyambuttu. And now in my car, there is a book by Bangalore man, Nityananda. I'll tell you, wonderful writer. He is a fantastic writer. I don't know about his personal life, but if you read the book, there are many questions he asks. He says, life has no purpose. I don't know why and how. He says, life has only meaning. I am trying to think about it. Most of you think about it. He writes a sentence. Life has no meaning. Sorry, no purpose. It has only meaning. I am not, I am trying to decipher it. I hope I will do it in the night. But the thing is, life is when you say it is our first breath begins and the last breath life is over. Now what we are going to do during this first breath and the last breath, I am going to say first one is health. To have a health you need three things. In my lecture many things are three, not in my personal life. <laughs> Only thing is you remember your exercise, exercise, third one all of you know what is what. The second one is diet, the third one is relaxation or take things rightly in life. Now what is required for good exercise? That I always say, one second exercise, one <coughs> second exercise, one hour exercise. What is this one second exercise, anybody? Any youngster? Out of one One second exercise is, when somebody gives you food, like today Ramas offered me, I said no. When they give the extra food, say no. That's one second exercise. One minute exercise, I know most of you are already worried, it's already 10 minutes is past. I will if you are tense, take a deep breath. All of you do it. For deep breath, 10 times in one minute. And one hour exercise, walking, one hour covering 3 miles or 5 kilometers. 
the one hour exercise is very very important, isn't it? When you want to lose weight, one hour, when you want to be fit, 30 minutes exercise. 